Okay, we have uh, another problem where we have to verify and then find the lines that are tangent and normal to the curve at one comma zero. Uh, the first thing we want to do is the verification step. So we got to put a one in for the x and a zero in for the y. So let's do that first. Two cosine pi times one minus zero. Another zero here. And then on the other right hand side, negative two times one. We need to do some simplifying. Two cosine of pi, and then we end up with negative two on the other side. Need to use your unit circle for a cosine pi. Cosine pi is negative one, so two times negative one is negative two. That's your verification step. Both sides are equal. Now we got to find the line that's tangent to, so that's going to require us to, to take the derivative. We need to take the derivative of all the terms here on both sides of the equation. When we do the first one, that's going to involve a chain rule. The outside function is a cosine, so let's do that derivative first. The derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine, so we get negative 2 sine pi x minus y. But then we have to use chain here because we have something inside that's not a single variable, which means we need to multiply this by the derivative of the inside. Derivative of the inside, derivative of pi x is just going to be pi, and then I have a y by itself, that's going to turn into a dy dx. Whenever you have a y by itself, it's dy dx. In fact, you have that here too because there's an, another single y. So we get another dy dx here. And then derivative of negative 2x is just negative 2. So that's, we've done the derivative all the way through. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply and do a distributive property. We're going to take all this times pi and then all this times dy dx. So we're going to do that next. When you multiply the first term times pi, you get negative 2 pi sine of pi x minus y. And then we're going to have minus minus is plus all of this times dy dx. So we're going to get plus 2 sine of pi x minus y and then times dy dx. Okay, so again we did the we did all this on the outside times your dy dx. We still have this dy dx separately and then we have equals negative 2. You want to leave all the terms that have dy dx in on one side of the equation, so we're going to leave these two there. And this term, we're going to add that to the other side. So we're going to do 2 sine of pi x minus y dy dx minus dy dx. And on the other side, we're going to have a 2 pi sine of pi x minus y. And then you have a minus 2 that's, that's still there. You want to do a factoring step. You want to factor out a dy dx. So factor out dy dx and you're going to get 2 sine of pi x minus y and then minus 1. Don't forget that minus 1 is important. If you left that out, you wouldn't get the correct thing when you multiply that back through. So you need a 1 there in order to get that single dy dx term. On this side, it's, you still have everything is going to be the same. So write this out again. And now once you get to this point, we need to solve for dy dx. The way you're going to do that is you have to divide both sides by this part that's in the parentheses. So I'm going to come up here and do that part. And when we do that, you get dy dx is going to equal, here's the part on top, 2 pi sine of pi x minus y minus 2, all that on the bottom. It's going to be 2 sine x pi x minus y, pi x minus y, and then minus 1. All right, so now that we have all this written, we're ready to put in the point. We have to find a numerical value for dy dx that will give us our slope that we can use in order to do uh, part A. So the next thing we got to do is plug in the point. So we'll do that right here, erase some of this here, so get some space. dy dx is going to equal, we're going to put in the 1 for x, so pi times 1 minus 0, and I still have the minus 2 on top. Down below I have 2 sine of pi times 1 minus 0, and then minus 1. We need to simplify all this. Now I have 2 pi this is going to be sine of pi. That whole thing is actually going to be 0. Down here I have 2 times sine pi. That's going to be 0. 
So all I'll be left with is negative 2 over negative 1, which is 2. So again, all this right here simplifies to 2 pi sine of pi. That's all 0. Sine of pi is 0. And the bottom, that all cancels to except a negative 1. So now we found out that our dy dx is going to be uh, 2, and that's going to be the slope that we're going to use. So now let's go ahead and write the equation. Let's go back to uh, part A once we have all that. Let me erase all this. So for part A, we want to find the line that's tangent. So we're going to start with y equals mx plus b. We're going to put in our point. So 1 goes in for x and a 0 for y. The m is our dy dx that we got, the exact value that's 2. So I have 2 times 1. And then that will allow us to solve for b, which gives us negative 2. So now we can write the equation. It's going to be y equals 2x as our slope, and then minus 2. That's part A. Now we've got to do part B. Part B is we've got to find a line that's normal to. Normal means you want to find a line that has an opposite reciprocal slope. So we did 2 for the first part. Normal means opposite reciprocal slope. So opposite sign and reciprocal. So we get negative 1 half. Okay, so this is going to be m that we want to use this time. We're still going to use y equals mx plus b. We'll put 0 in there. This time we use negative 1 half and then a 1 in there for x. When you uh, bring that over the other side, you get a positive 1 half is your b. So therefore, your equation we can write, you're going to get negative 1 half x, that's your slope there, plus 1 half. So here's your answer for a, that's the line that's tangent to, and this is the line that's normal to the uh, 1, 0 at, on the curve.